Hi there, it's Nina Gill at Hands, Paws, and Claws. I also have a friend here that some of you may recognize through some of our uh, programming. He is one of our comfort animals. He is not facing the right direction right at this moment, but this is Big Joe Jagger. Uh, he is one of our rescue animals. He does live at our house with us. So yes, he is in quarantine with us. Joe, if you'd turn around and face the audience here. Joe, do you want to give any kisses? Oh, thank you, Joe. Joe has definitely been a comfort to us and hopefully many others. Usually he gets to go out on programs and has been visiting many. He is the face of our Instagram account. So if you want to visit Hands, Paws, and Claws at Instagram, you'll recognize that handsome face. He was rescued through German Shepherd Rescue. So uh, that is another great rescue uh, business that I highly encourage that you check out. I know what we're trying to encourage um, through us going virtual is to not only help our business but to help many others that are doing many good things so that is something that we are trying to do we know how many out there are in need and we are definitely going to be a business <laughs> thank you Joe definitely going to be a business that are going to try to help several so this is going to be a business that's going to be promoting a safe place a safe place to visit for all ages we want this to be a place where you can come and and watch and relax. I'm kind of in my safe place right now out here in nature. I have um, come from our new farm and I did uh, my uh, you know essential work that I need to do. Those animals need to be fed. They need love. They need attention. They need exercise. They need shelter. They need to make sure that they have clean bedding. Um, everything needs to make sure it's up running and taken care of and without me having uh, the volunteers that I normally am um, able to so rely on and it's not that they're not willing and not asking and not wanting to But we're wanting to keep everyone safe. We're wanting to follow the rules and directives that have been put in place by um, you know our state and So we're respecting those rules and making sure that we're keeping everyone healthy and we really recommend all of you to follow that so right now it's our family and we're buckling down and I thank my family so much for doing so with these past couple of weeks we've been lucky enough to have some holidays and though the traditions have been extremely different uh, we've been making some new traditions and that has been nice and it has been good and it has been what I would call healthy but we do have to watch our mental health and um, our social emotional learning is just as important as our academic learning so for all of you out there get outside be a part of nature be in touch with the you know your pets at home but also the animals outside and just the beauty outside uh, spring is an interesting time here in the Midwest. I will admit we have definitely experienced that in the past two weeks, but try to find the good in it. And the days that show the best of it, try to take advantage of the best of it. And it's not always easy. It's not. I know that and I acknowledge that. But if you can, you know, take a walk. If you can, walk your pet. If you can, go outside to the edge of your driveway wave at your neighbors but keep that social distancing give them a smile it, it's rewarding to you it's good for you it's good for them um, you know uh, refill a bird feeder 